about to leave Italy. We got the GT4 S and the M5. And one thing I just noticed, very Italian, most Italian thing I've ever seen. There's a pizza vending machine. So going up the hill and there's a GT4 right here. Up Stelvio. So the GT4 and we have the GT4 RS. Similar taste. Cows, more cows. Tight turn. Well, let's look down. This looks incredible. What? Looking down. SF90 all the way down there. Hello. I didn't know this was a thing, but Golf R Wagon. Oh, pops. So look at this view, look at the rows, look at the shape of everything. It's crazy here. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the road that Top Gear used when they were looking for the best driver's car in the world, uh, driver's road in the world. And this is the one they said is the best. And we have one of the best driver's cars, especially modern driver's cars in the best road in the world. Honestly, not a bad turnout. Jason, how do you th what do you think of this road so far? My second time here. Yeah? And we're now we're back because it's so good. Yeah. Cows. So today's the first day of the trip where we don't really have anything planned in terms of going to see cars or anything like that. We're just driving with the GT4S, finding good roads. I didn't think it's going to be that interesting of a day, but we're in Top Gear's like best road in the world with a great car. Look at the view. We're in Italy. Everything just lined up to make it like the perfect day. Honestly, this is this is incredible. 991 Turbo. Imagine having to be that biker. It's still like 20 minute by car and it's a steep uphill. Not gonna lie, I'm not jealous of him. Hashtag Toronto cow spotting. America this would be a one-way something this with here's a two-way not only do you get bikes and small cars you get buses and trucks so that becomes a little bit of an issue especially when you can't really see around a corner but other than that it's a super fun road look at the view We're in Switzerland. This is the second Ferrari 400 that's passed by in the last two minutes. But we're in this little town in Switzerland. Look how the buildings are like get right against the road, filling up gas here at this pretty cool gas station. But I wonder if there's going to be some more Ferrari driving through if this is the second 400 that's drove, driven by. I guess I was right. Huh. Well, let's see if anything crazy shows up. Who knows? Maybe for all we know, an F40 could come by. One more Dino, two more Dinos. Another Ferrari F8 and another 400 and one more Dino. Okay, so 
we got here another Dino and a California. The six years by with them and then another Ferrari 400. This is so weird. There's another one right here. Okay, is this the whole Dino production? What the hell is going on? 355. F12. So still in Swiss country roads, more like mountain roads actually, but now it's pouring rain. Yo, that looks like a tech card 996 turbo. So we're in Switzerland right now. The cars are over there in that lineup and we're waiting for a train. Apparently we're gonna be driving the cars onto a train as like a ferry. Oh yeah, that's so cool. So this train is coming full of cars. And I guess that's kind of what we're getting on. Really cool. Look at that guy's trailer on like a regular car. And then we're gonna drive onto the train. Let's see how this goes. Very interesting. The streets here are so narrow. So for those of you who don't know, my last name is Liechtenstein, and once you cross through this gate, I'm pretty sure we're in the country Liechtenstein. Flags are right there. Is there a sign or anything? Because I gotta take a picture with the sign. Let's see, we gotta find a sign for a picture. And here's a sign, here's Liechtenstein, we're here. So yeah, here we are. Spelling's not the same, but you know, close enough i'm just gonna take the win for that one and that's it on the highway in switzerland and bumped into a random very old 911 targa very cool color it's like a light mint ish greenish blue kind of cool to see the two cool, cool porsche colors but these old targas look so good cool find yeah we're in switzerland right now on some crazy roads but the one issue is we're in a cloud so we can't see more than like 20 feet ahead we can barely see Jason in front of us but literally nothing in front of that there if you look at the navigation here there's some crazy corners coming up and we cannot see a thing so let's see how this goes holy shit this is crazy like there's a huge drop to our left and you cannot see anything There's a van ripping behind us. If he goes to overtake us, he's gonna fall into Locals. So Jason's vlogging right now, but yeah, we got the M5 that I've been driving on these like crazy roads you can see. We were just there earlier and we went all the way down and now we're gonna go back up here with the two cars. Good duo, but maybe tomorrow something will hop in the four of us. So quick break with the cars. We've been driving all day and look at this lake. But then as soon as I pulled into the street, little side street, I noticed Something red parked here. First, I thought it was an Alfa Romeo, but then I saw it's ooh, Alfa 996 Turbo. But there's a Jag E Type right here. Random find. Not bad at all. And then a 996 Turbo.